Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to solve two different problems from recent list lead code. Uh, if you are new to my channel, I just want to uh, mention that my channel is dedicated to help people in their Java J2 interviews and in their coding interviews. On my channel, you will find over 300 different varieties of solved uh, problems which are coding interview questions asked by big tech companies like Google, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, Yahoo and many other big tech companies and those constitute very important coding question varieties such as BFS, DFS, matrix problems, graph problems, uh, coding problems related to linked list strings, optimization problems using priority queues, problems uh, using uh, dynamic programming as well as uh, different logical problems that can be solved with uh, data structures such as uh, you know uh, tree set, hash set, hash map, tree map, um queues stacks so you will find lots of varieties of problems that can help you in your java interviews and in your coding interviews so please subscribe to the channel now so to, in today's session we are going to look into two different recent uh, lead code problems so let's go uh, with the first problems and then we'll go to the second problem so first problem is check if every row and column contains all numbers so an n by n matrix is uh, valid if every row and every column contains all the integers from 1 to n inclusive. Given an n by n integer matrix, return true if matrix is valid otherwise return false. So they have given us uh, two examples. So let's take one this first example on a whiteboard. So here I can explain you easily what the problem is. and. Uh, how we are going to solve this problem also we can discuss here so what the problem is saying that if we take so um, let's just uh, take like this is a zeroth column right this is first column this is second column right this is zeroth row first row and second row so we are talking here with a zero based index right so uh, what the problem says that in every row for example if we take 0 so 0th row and 0th column so this is the 0th row right this is the 0th row so it has 1 2 3 right and this one is the 0th column right so this is the 0th column so if we highlight this column it also has 1 2 3 in it so we have to go uh, so as we did for 0th column we have to also do for column 1 row 1 column 2 row 2 right and we have to make sure that each of these contains all the numbers from 1 to n here n is 3 basically right so 1 2 3 it, it's there into this row 1 2 3 is also there into this column right you can see 1 2 3 so um, similarly if you look at this um, first row it also has 1 2 3 right and if you look at the first column also has 1 2 3 right similarly if you look at the row this last row it also has a 1 2 3 and the last column also has 1 2 3 so in this case uh, all the rows and columns has 1 2 3 in it so we have to return true here right so that's what the problem is basically if it does not contain 1 2 3 uh, in uh, both row and column then in that case we have to return false so this is the second example if you uh, if you look at this example uh, here in this column you can see it's just 1 2 2 right it does not have 1 2 3 into the second column right so we will return false so how we are going to solve this problem so what we will do is we will go through each row and each column right and we will create two sets so one is called as a row set right so this is a row set right and other is called as column set right so we will use a set which is a hash set in java right it's an implementation of set interface so if we are looking into the first row then we will go through this first row and like one two three we are getting right so we will put one two three into the row here right so one two three is going into the row set and after that we will go to the first column so we'll go through this column Again, you are seeing 1, 2, 3. Again, we will put 1, 2, 3 into the column set, right? 1, 2, 3 into the column set here. 
um, and then after we are done with this zeroth uh, row and zeroth column then we will check the size of this row set and column set if the size is matching right both has uh, three elements then in that case uh, we will just go to the next one right if it does not match means if it does not let's say it has only one and two in this case let's say then it does not match in in that case we will just return false right so this is the approach we are going to uh, take uh, use to solve this uh, problem so let's go ahead and take a look at the java code for this problem so java code is pretty simple so n is the matrix length right and they also have already mentioned that it can only contains 1 to 3 means 1 to n integers right only for in 1 to n so it cannot contain like 10 15 like this only 1 to 3 it will contain right so it's already mentioned so after that we will just go through all the rows here we are going through all the rows and we will create a row and column hash set here right so we defined a hash set every time we are going to new row we will create a brand new row and column set after that we we will go through all the columns here right and we will add into the row comma column of matrix into row set and column comma row we will add here into the column set right so column comma row will add all the uh, for example it will add all these elements right one three two into the set right so that's what we are doing once we populate it we will just check here if the size of a row if it is less than n or is the column size is less than n right so both should have three elements in this example for example right if it does not have three elements we will just return false right there right otherwise we will again go through the for loop right so we will go to the next row we will get, go to the next row for example here we will go to uh, three times we will go into this for loop right because there are three rows here uh, and we will always keep checking that the row set and column set size should be equal to n right if any of the uh, set size is not equal to n we will just return false so this is the approach to solve this problem so uh, let's go ahead and let's just take all these examples that they have given here and we'll just make sure that our solution works against all the test cases so we are getting correct answer as you can see true for the first example and false for the second example that we have seen so we'll just go ahead and submit our solution so our solution got accepted uh, by lead code so this is the way we can solve the problem check if every row and column contains all numbers with the help of hash set and this logic right so this is the first problem now let's go to the second problem here so second problem is called as destroying asteroids this is also uh, one of the latest lead code problems so let's go through the problem statement first and then we will go through the uh, example and how we can solve this problem right you are given an integer mass which represents original mass of a planet you are further given an integer array asteroids where asteroids of i is the mass of ith asteroid you can arrange for the planet to collide with the asteroids in any arbitrary order so it means that we can change the order of the asteroids right uh, so asteroid is going to collide with the planet and we can choose whatever order we want of the asteroid right if the mass of the planet is greater than or equal to the mass of asteroid the asteroid is destroyed and planet gains the mass of the asteroid otherwise the planet is destroyed means if the otherwise the planet is destroyed means if the mass of the asteroid is more than the mass of the planet then it will destroy the planet basically return true if all asteroids can be destroyed otherwise return false so this is the problem statement and this is the first example so we they have given us two examples uh, the constant is that the mass is between 1 to 10 raised to 5 the asteroids dot length is between 1 to 10 raised to 5 and the asteroid value is between 1 to 10 raised to 5 uh, so it's pretty clear the problem statement so we'll go through both the examples on whiteboard so it will um, 
I can explain you here what like the problem uh, is and how we can solve it right so the planet mass is given to us as 10 right and these are the asteroids that are coming and they are going to collide with the planet right uh, and we have to find out if the all the asteroids means can be destroyed by the planet basically right if, we, if that is the case we will have to return true otherwise we will return false so let's go through this example so um, obviously from looking at this uh, like uh, problem statement itself one thing clicks into the mind is uh, we what we want to um, decide here is um, if there is any asteroid that collides with planet and then if it <coughs> If its mass is more than planet then it will destroy planet right so which means that we always wanted to start with asteroid with the smallest mass right so which means that we have to sort this array right so let's first sort this asteroid array so once we sort the asteroid array it will look like 3 then 5 then 9 then 19 then 21 right 19 and 21 right 21 so this is after sorting right because we always want to make sure that we will collide first uh, with the smallest mass right so so that the planet will not get destroyed right so now planet mass is given as 10 right so planet mass is 10 so now let's just simulate that asteroids are coming and they are hitting the planet right so let's just look at this so first one first asteroid comes 3 so it's smaller than 10 so uh, so the planet will like the asteroid will get destroyed right and planet will get mass 3 additional right so now it will become 13 right 10 plus 3 13 now next will come 5 so 5 will also get destroyed because this mass is more so 5, 13 plus 5 it will become 18 now right now next next asteroid will come it is 9 it is also smaller so it will get destroyed 9 plus 18 now it will the mass will become 27 here now 9 plus 18 right 27 after that 19 will come now 19 mass will again get destroyed and 27 plus 19 right so it will be like 47 minus 1 which is 46 right 46 it will be the total mass of the planet now right 21 so once 21 comes 21 is again smaller than this mass so it will get destroyed and the planet will acquire 21 more mass so it becomes 67 right so 67 is the total mass of the planet and it has it's able to destroy all the asteroids as, as you can see right in this so we have to return true here right so if you look at this example uh, here also as you can see 67 is matching our 67 and we are returning true here also we are returning true so this is the way we can solve this problem so let's take this is a true case where it's a true now let's take a look at the negative case where it is a false right so this is another example so again we will do the same thing we will have to first take the array and sort this array so let's just so total mass is 5 in the beginning of the planet let's sort this array so after sorting the array will look, um, look like a 4 4 9 23 right 4 then again 4 then here 9 and here 23 right 23 so this is the sorted array so now we will simulate that asteroids are coming and they are hitting the planet uh, one by one so we will check you know if uh, we will simulate that so first 4 is coming so 4 is smaller than 5 so this will get destroyed and 5 will acquire the additional mass of 4 so it will become 5 plus 4 is 9 right now next next asteroid will come it is 4 mass so again this asteroid will get destroyed because it's a smaller mass and this one get additional 4 mass so it will become 9 plus 4 which is equal to 13 right after that the next asteroid is 9 so 9 will also is smaller than 13 so it will get destroyed but this one will get additional mass 9 which is equal to 22 now right 9 plus 13 is 22 now the next um, asteroid will come which is 23 now 23 this mass is bigger than 22 right so it means that it will destroy it will destroy the planet 
basically right because its mass is more than planet mass right so in this case it will destroy the planet so we have to return false right so let's look into the example here so as you can see it is false here they also did the same explanation so this is the false right so this is kind of a greedy approach that we are doing here right so this is a greedy problem we are greedily choosing the asteroids with least amount of mass right so um, that's why it's a greedy approach so i think with these two example it's pretty clear how we can solve this problem so let's go ahead and take a look at the java code for this solution uh, so let me just minimize this so first thing we are going to do is we have sorted the asteroids right array of asteroids is given to us after that we are going one by one through the sorted array and we are checking if the mass uh, if the asteroid mass is greater than the planet mass right first thing we will check here if that is the case we will immediately return false right then we don't have to check for other asteroids if the mass of the asteroid becomes more than the mass of the planet right if that is not the case we will just check if mass is less than 100000 this is just one big number i took uh, in that case if this is not happening then we are going to basically in that case asteroid is get, getting destroyed because it has a less mass and that asteroid asteroids mass is getting added into the mass of the planet so we have to just do mass is equal to mass plus asteroid mass here right so we'll just do it in for loop and we will simulate that uh, asteroids which are sorted are coming and hitting the planet here and we are checking if uh, any time the uh, mass of the asteroid becomes more than mass of the planet right otherwise if it doesn't happen at all then we'll just return true at the end so we are just let's go ahead and take all the test cases which are these vote test cases and make sure it works so we are getting correct answer true false here and we already saw the two examples on the whiteboarding here so let's go ahead and submit the solution so our solution got accepted by lead code uh, so this is the way we can solve the destroying asteroids problem on lead code this is a greedy approach we used because we are greedily choosing the asteroid with least mass right um, so if you are new to my channel there is a dedicated uh, playlist for lead code and lint code solutions which are which has over 220 uh, different varieties of solved problems from lead code and lint code and those are problems which are taken from previously asked coding interview questions by big tech companies like amazon apple microsoft yahoo uh, facebook google and many other big tech uh, tech companies so you if you are preparing for coding interviews you can go through that playlist and it will give you vast varieties of examples which are very important from coding interview perspective and those examples include examples uh, related to bfs dfs graph problems matrix problems optimization problems that can be solved using priority queues coding questions related to linked list strings uh, dynamic programming as well as uh, different logical questions which can be solved with different data structures such as queues stacks uh, tree set, hash set, hash map, tree map, all those different examples are there. So it will give you really good practice uh, in your coding interviews. If you are simply preparing for Java interview, there is another uh, playlist on my channel called as Java interview questions. And uh, those questions are like telephonic, different uh, telephonic Java interview questions, which are frequently asked telephonic questions and how to answer those questions is also explained uh, in that playlist. You can go through it. There are other videos also which are related to Java architecture, Java design patterns as well as Java string related coding questions that got asked in past interviews. Uh, so this channel can definitely be helpful to you in your interview preparation. If you like this video, if you find this video helpful and if this